DNA evidence reveals the identity of Jack the Ripper. This is his AI-generated face according to this British tabloid, which generally only talks about the mass singer. But the video got 1.2 million views because it was retweeted by a comedian, which means it's once again time for me to talk about mitochondrial DNA and why this is terrible science. But this time I think I'm going to be frank with you and reveal this story has a bad guy. I generally try not to speak ill of the alive because I believe in the iron triangle of conspiracy theories. You only get to pick two of these. This man, Russell Edwards, is incredibly unpopular because Jack the Ripper isn't the only murder that he's tried to solve. Back in the 60s, there was a truly brutal string of child murders. But only Keith Bennett's body was never found. Here's Russell Edwards with a shovel because he claimed that he found a human jaw on the moors. Keith's poor mother never stopped wandering the moors looking for his body until she died in 2012. And Keith's brother, now an old man, expressed great frustration with Russell Edwards, saying maybe he should have stopped courting the press and spent a little more time actually finding the body. After a ton of digging, they found absolutely nothing. Then he alleged to sell a book on the subject. In the same way, people have been debunking this DNA evidence since 2014. Russell Edwards claims that this 11-foot silk shawl belonged to the broke Catherine Eddowes and that it was not found on her body because a police officer stole it from the crime scene to give to his wife despite the blood stains on it, and despite the fact it was never seen at the crime scene, and the police officer didn't work for the right district. It's also 11 feet long. This is not a shawl. This is a tablecloth. To make the story even crazier, they decided to do brand new types of testing on the shawl because, of course, this was never kept clean. Mitochondrial DNA is never used in criminal cases because it is not enough to convict a person. Mitochondrial DNA is tiny and only contains 37 genes. General DNA evidence is a double helix. It's two strands of 20,000 genes. This is not even cliff notes read this paper at the Journal of Forensic Science, the first thing you get to is this expression of concern. And in it, the publisher says, we did our best to try to get the real data from the author, but they cannot produce the real data. They say it's missing. You did some cutting edge voodoo science that's never been done before and then you promptly lost the samples. And if you're wondering why scientists would lie about this, this is an online antique store. This auction item is still up and listed. You can go see it. But sometime after 2015, they did take the price off of it. They were trying to sell it for $4.75 million. But the shawl didn't sell, so Russell Edwards, acclaimed author and noted ripperologist, has decided to put out another issue of his book, and he added to it. He added this photo, which he admits is just a pastiche of all the photos of Aaron's relatives, and then a new creepy anti-Semitic conspiracy theory tie-in with the Freemasons. The Freemasons and the Jack the Ripper murders based upon blaming the Jews for the death of Jesus, which is kind of a confounding theory. The British Freemasons were actually the most accepting of any Freemasons in the world, especially at the time. So no, this is not a trustworthy individual. This is not a real photograph, and that's not even a shawl. Sorry, Theo. DNA evidence will never prove the identity of Jack the Ripper.